By the end of this video, your player will not be able to jump infinitely like this and will be limited to only one jump every time he hits the floor. Hey guys, Blakey here and welcome back to another video. Today I have another Unity tutorial for you guys and today it is going to be on how to limit your player's jump to only one at a time. So in my player movement video, as you can see, we do have a jump and a movement, but as you can see, you can jump very many times and a lot of people don't want this in their game obviously if you're making a little platformer you're going to only want to have maybe one jump every time you leave the floor maybe two or more but today we're just going to be focusing on where's he gone oh, there he is uh we're going to be focusing on just having one jump every time you hit the floor and the way we're going to do that is, use, is using a boolean which is a true or false statement and we're going to be using that in visual studios today so without further ado let's get straight into the video so before we do start coding anything as usual there is a few things we have to do so we're going to go over to our floor which is just here and we're going to give it a tag see i've already made one called ground uh, i need you to make it exactly like this ground with a capital g just so you can follow the tutorial exactly the way i'm doing it go ahead and click on that if you don't have this tag go ahead and press add tag this little plus sign and just type in tag save and then don't forget to go to floor and add it and that is honestly all we have to do today and that is the end of the video no i'm joking uh, let's go over to the script i'm gonna go ahead and open this up and you can see this is the little script we've got this is a simple player movement script if you haven't watched my video on player movement i recommend you doing it uh going to watch it because it will give you a tutorial on what any what all of this script means but this does make your player move and jump so we're going to go ahead and add a boolean so if we go to our private and we're going to add another private and we're going to call it private boolean which just bool and we're going to call it is jumping so we're going to be using this so whenever we are not on the floor is jumping equals to true and we're, that's how we're going to do it today so is jumping is currently not set to anything because we haven't set it to anything so we're going to be when something happens it becomes something that just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. So the way we're going to start off, so we're going to say if input dot get button down is jump and and the way we do and is two of these. I don't even know how you say them. Then we're going to say and is jumping is not true. So we're using an exclamation mark. So if we're not jumping and we're pressing the jump button, that means we can jump. So we're going to go ahead and if that is happening. We can then set is jumping equal to true. Okay, and now if you see, we go over to Unity, go ahead and press play. And this shouldn't work yet because there is still one more thing we've got to do. But it does, in fact, limit the infinite. But as you can see, we can't jump again after we hit the floor because we haven't assigned it. Okay, we haven't given it the ability to. Once we hit the floor, we're allowed to re-jump again. So we're going to go ahead and do this by adding a new void on collision enter. So go ahead and type void on collision enter 2D because we're using 2D, remember. And we don't need it to be private, so we can get rid of that. And we're going to change collision to other. We can then go to into our function. We're going to type in if other.gameobject.compare tag. And if our tag equals ground, and that is what we set, you remember at the start of the video, if we collide with this, we're going to set is jumping back to false. And the reason we do this, so if we hit the floor and we're along the, if we're colliding with ground, that means we're obviously not jumping because you're not going to be jumping while touching the floor. Because if you're in the air, you're obviously going to be jumping. And that means. Because it's now false, this function will happen because if input.getButton down is jump, so if we're pressing jump and is jumping is false, then we can jump again. So that means once we hit the floor, it will be set to false, which means we are then allowed to jump again. So if we go back into Unity, go ahead and press play. We don't need to assign anything because we made our Boolean private. And now we can't jump, but now we can. So if you can see, I'm spamming the jump button while we're in the air and nothing is happening which is exactly what we want but when you hit the floor again we can in fact jump so that is all i wanted to show you guys today it's a very short tutorial but a few people have requested it so i thought i'd put it out there for you guys i'll thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye